Hi there, welcome to Happiness Unlocked. My name is Brandy Renee. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy that you stopped by. If this is not your first time here, I'm so honored that you have come back. Today, I'm gonna be sharing four of my favorite mental health self-care apps. Um, I actually tried out about a month ago eight apps um, and I said that at the end of the day, the last four standing, I will share with y'all. So let's just jump right in. The first app that I'm gonna share is the one that y'all heard about before, but every time I match it up to another guided meditation app or another um, self-care app, it would, it would stand the hands of time and so that is relax melodies so the thing that i love most about relax melodies is that you can create your own soundtrack and i think that that is super 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 dope um so you can create your own ambient sounds relaxing sounds you know i really um channel peace and calm when i'm near the beach so i always put in like sounds of water, waterfalls, what have you, and other things. So you can play around with that and make it as calming and peaceful as you like. And I really use Relax Melodies for sleep. So in my video, how to get better sleep with anxiety or while living with anxiety, I will um, post it here somewhere. Um, I talk about this app and it is so helpful. My favorite feature is likely the fast asleep and I use that when I like awake during the middle of the night and my brain wants to get me going and working and you know, I feel tempted to go to my phone and look at an Instagram post or something like that. So, um, yeah, I really like that. I have notes for y'all. <laughs> I really, I took notes, y'all. I, I really can't prepare. Um, so I like that. I like um, the different, how there's different people guiding the meditations. So you get to hear different voices, different styles of meditation. I also am really, really falling, falling in love with their morning meditation path. They have like meditation for moms um, during that morning meditation path. They even have meditation for self-love. Lots of lots of great guided meditations. I think this is great for beginners who are trying to find their inner peace and find out how to even meditate. So this one is great for beginners. It is available in, for both iOS and Android. And both, all of these except for one, are available on both of those platforms. The next one I'm gonna talk about is I Am. And this one is really like a self-love, self-care app. It's super simple and it's devoted to positive affirmations. So I absolutely love it. Um, and the thing that I really like about it too is like when you wake up in the morning and you just kind of like scroll through your push notifications, it will like offer up to affirmations for you. So one of the first things that you see in the morning is something that nice and positive that you can think to yourself. I also like that it has a practice um, mode because a lot of people say, uh, like affirmations are corny, they don't work, but there's some very key reasons why your affirmations are not working. And we're gonna get into that in another video. But this app will really help you to manifest the positivity that is affirmations. So yeah, I like it because it's very basic, it's easy to use, it's free, and you have um, options to like customize the background that your affirmations are presented on without having to upgrade. There's like an ad option where you can go and watch ad and unlock certain features. So I really like that because look, I don't really like paying for apps. Although the first one, Relax Melodies, is one that I purchase a yearly subscription to because I use it that much. The way that I would use the I Am app is that I would kind of scroll through and I would favorite a few 
affirmations that I want to work on for the day or for the week. It's really nice to sit with affirmations longer than an hour or two and to really practice the same ones so that you get that memory and you get those positive affirmations ingrained into your repertoire of positive self talk so I am is a great way to get your positive affirmations you can also follow me on Instagram at happiness underscore unlock for your daily dose of positivity and affirmations as well the next one I'm gonna get into before I get into like literally I, I mean literally my favorite app right now I'm gonna go into an app called stay focused and most people will see this as more of a productivity app because it helps you to monitor how much um, screen time you're using in a day um, and it allows you to sort of like block your phone out so that you can focus on whatever task you're actually supposed to be focusing on. But I really see this as a self-care and positive mental health app for a few reasons. The first is that sometimes we really just need to disconnect from our phones. Um, there are so many studies starting as early as like 2010, 2013, linking um, a high phone usage uh, with depression and anxiety. And so if you're already someone living with depression or anxiety, it might behoove you to be a little more um, aware of how much screen time you're using. Um, but also, even if you aren't living with those things, it's nice in a good self-care practice to take some time to just be still and just be with yourself and with your own calm, with your own thoughts, without the interruptions of the competition and just constant information processing that happens when we're on our phones. I would use the app to, um, to stop me from accessing apps on my phone um, and it was really cool because if I would just out of muscle memory or habit pick up my phone there would be like a little message on there for me which I'll show you somewhere on the screen here and so I was like oh wait that's not what I'm supposed to be doing I'm supposed to be focused on this thing also when I'm writing a report for work or processing paper or working on a project developing programming I would also use that to help me with my productivity and to stay rooted in my purpose and to stay present with what I'm doing. So this is really, it's productivity, but it's also really a great way for you to take care of yourself and make sure that you're devoting the necessary time that you deserve to yourself throughout the day. So stay focused. Now this app is um, only for Android and so there's other ones like Flora and other apps that you can use to um, manage how much time you're using um, on your phone and also to help you block out apps so that you don't get distracted from what you're really supposed to be doing. And now, drum roll please. My favorite mental health app right now is called Inner Hour. It is available on iOS as well as Android platforms and I absolutely love this, this app. Um, it has, it curates uh, a plan for you and it is so, so, so good. So you go through like this mini questionnaire and then it um, provides you with a dashboard of guided meditations, self-care activities, reflection activities, um, body movement activities, where they blend walking and meditation and, um, and, and, and imagery the whole night. I mean, it is so good. I have articles on there regarding mental health. It also has a chat feature where you like talk to a virtual buddy to help you process the stress or whatever it is 
that you're experiencing at the time that you access the app. In addition to all of that, they have emergency um, links to resources to get you to the right person if you're in the midst of a crisis. And so Inner Hour and none of these other apps are meant to be used in lieu of a, ment a relationship with a mental health professional. However, it is really a great app for you to use to help maintain whatever plan you've created with a licensed mental health professional or just to help you as you are journeying through a stressful day or a um, very high anxiety point in your day, month, or life. So I really, really love it for all of that. They also have free courses available that are specific to anxieties and depressions and other um, mental health impacts due to COVID-19 and the global pandemic. So I thought that was really cool. And you basically don't have to pay for any upgrades on this app. You can use the free version and get literally access to so much. So I highly, highly recommend Inner Hour. And two of my favorite things on the app is the stress track tracker and the belly breathing exercise. I hope you truly enjoyed this video. Down below, let us know which app you're using for your self care, self care and meditation or mental health. Um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Until next week, peace and love. See you then. Bye.